Hello, everyone. Thank you again for joining myself, Jerome Went, on uh, another edition of uh, DCIG's uh, video blog series here. Uh, joining me are Ken Clipperton and Todd Dorsey with DCIG. They're both analysts. Uh, today, uh, we're starting off a new year, and uh, don't, we don't have a whole lot to share, just kind of, you know, kicking off the year. So um, I've, I've been doing, however, I did a little bit, of, I've been doing some research over the month of December. So I'm just going to kind of take the lead today and just share a few thoughts that I've had. Uh, specifically, uh, one of the things I've been doing a lot of research on is uh, on the topic of uh, deduplication, specifically uh, how more deduplication appliances are becoming uh, software defined solutions uh, to meet sort of this new demand of hybrid environments. Uh, it's uh, it's actually been sort of an interesting journey on the different paths different providers are taking. Uh, the you know sort of the origins of deduplication, uh, especially the appliances, they really became big during the early 2000s uh, because companies had all the storage they were back all this data they were trying to back up. They were backing it up to tape, and they wanted to store it to disk, but trying to store all that data to disk became almost kind of cost prohibitive. So deduplication became the you know the the technology du jour, for lack of a better way of putting it, where companies really were able to reduce their data stores, and they were able to get you know fairly significant data reductions. Uh, you know, you may hear uh, projections as much as like you know 50 to one, or even you know 500 to one. I've seen some promoted, but realistically, if companies are getting uh, and talking to some guys in the industry who are pretty close, they say if you get a data reduction of seven to one or greater, it makes sense to go from tape to disk and back it up that way. And that's all been fine and good, but what's happening is more companies are deploying hybrid data centers, and most companies are. I'd say over 90% have gone down that path. They, you know, they they're going. They have virtual environments, and they're still backing up their data. And when you move into the cloud or even in an on-premises environment that's becoming increasingly virtualized, you're creating like you want to try to create this infrastructure as a service in your environment, and trying to back up to that using a physical appliance, it kind of breaks this whole infrastructure as a service model. So more of these providers are providing these software-defined solutions. They're, they're taking their physical appliance and making them software-defined. And so that's really what we're, you know, that's really what I spend a lot of time researching on and really like some of the new requirements for these software-defined appliances that are that are coming to market. And what we're seeing is that there's, that, that some of these, in fact, I would say almost all the software-defined appliances, and I'm not gonna say all of them because all of them, you know, they not all fall as carry, and most do not really fit into that infrastructure as a service model very well. And so, what you're going to see from DCIG here in the you know the weeks and months to come is more research around this, like which which offerings, and I would say even which offering is really well designed and really well suited for this infrastructure as a service environment, not just on premises, but in the cloud, and really gives you the the flexibility and the ability to move. Uh, their their appliance uh, to and from these different uh, both you know on premises and the cloud or use it both and use it very freely and very very effectively in both locations. So look for that research in the coming uh, weeks and months. Both uh, I have a published report coming out as well as some blogs and you know videos like this that I'll be talking about. So anyway, so I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year. Thanks for joining in on this uh, this week's edition and uh, be sure to tune in. Uh, you know. Um, continue to follow our channels. You continue to produce more vlogs on this uh, on this topic and all the things that are on top of mind with DCIG. Uh, have a happy new year, and we look forward to talking to you again soon.